Hello there, it's Margot Senna Friedman here, one of the psychologists in the College of Law and Management Student Support Services, and I'm going to be chatting to you briefly about managing anxiety during COVID-19. So how do you recognize the signs of anxiety in yourself and others? Well, firstly, remember that anxiety presents differently in different people and not everyone has the same symptoms. Nonetheless, these are what you can look out for. Memory issues, perhaps your memory or somebody's memory isn't as sharp as it used to be. Problems sleeping, either falling asleep or waking up and not being able to go back to sleep. A racing heartbeat, headaches, which are linked with often a sore neck and shoulders because the body is tense, trouble breathing, perhaps hyperventilating, in which case please do yourself a favour and look at the audios or listen to the audios on the CLMS SSS website because those will really assist you in relaxing. The person might be worrying constantly procrastinating with chores and tasks and academic work, then feeling bad about themselves. Perhaps you have trouble concentrating, you're irritable and your patience is lacking. You might need constant reassurance. Some people have panic attacks where their hearts race so much that they think they're having a heart attack, but actually it's a very severe form of anxiety stomach issues, a runny stomach perhaps, cramps, sweating and overthinking. So these are some of the important signs to look out for to help you realize that you are in an anxious state. COVID-19 has really triggered anxiety in people who've had it before and in those who haven't. And so many people have said that they are finding themselves over-analyzing situations because they're scared of what will happen if they're not prepared for it. This is because what we're dealing with, we have never dealt with before. The whole world is responding to this unprecedented pandemic, unprecedented pandemic, and this is different to anything that we've ever experienced. Because of that, even though one is anxious, it is also a very normal and healthy response. But it does not mean, if it's worrying you and troubling you, that you don't need to reach out for help and talk about it. Returning to university is something that many students are very excited about. But for those who have some social anxiety, it's important to pay attention. Social anxiety is not, OMG, I hate everyone. I wish I was watching Netflix in my room. In fact, social anxiety is, I want desperately to be able to hang out with people, but I hate the feeling of panic and fear I get around them. So I don't or can't hang out with them and I end up staying home alone. Some of you may find that you end up feeling a social anxiety either at the thought of coming back to campus or when you're on campus. This is normal and it's fine and please come and chat about it. So part of dealing with any anxiety or in fact anything that we feel is to know these three points. The way we think affects the way we feel and the way we behave. The way we feel affects the way we think and the way we behave. And the way we behave affects the way we think and the way we feel. This can end up becoming a vicious negative cycle. And so somehow one has to find the way, a way, of breaking out of that pattern and of breaking the cycle. So how do we break the cycle? 
how do we cope with coronavirus anxiety? Here are a couple of points. First of all, try and focus on the positive, remembering the earlier points that we made. Try and maintain a routine where you stay in to on top of your work because action is the solution to anxiety and even if you can do a little bit of work, you'll feel better about it and it will boost your self-esteem. Stay connected both to your lecturers to see what's happening in class. Use your Zoom, the Zoom times they've given, they've given you as well as email and definitely stay connected to your study buddies now more than ever and to good friends who help you feel good. Look after your body, that means getting at least eight hours of sleep, doing a little bit of exercise every day and trying to eat nourishing healthy food. Try and limit your exposure to listening and watching things on COVID-19. All it's going to do is absolutely overwhelm you. So take a break from that. If there is something that needs to be known, you will find out about it. The other thing is, in order to stop procrastinating, take action, do anything. And one of the things that you can do is reach out and talk to a therapist, which is one of the counsellors at Student Support. And to do this, you will see later, you need to book a session with Norma Makatini and we'll explain how just now. Thank you very much. Please stay safe and don't feel alone. You don't have to manage this on your own. We are absolutely here confidentially in a caring way here to help. I hope that those tips help you, that you don't feel alone and that you reach out. We are missing you so much. We can't wait to chat and we wish you all the very, very best. We're here. Please stay safe.